that's the laundry finished. Time for a treat, kids. It's story time. Now, what did Caillou do today? Ah, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Gets Dressed. Laundry day was a very busy day in Caillou's house. And Caillou was, well, Caillou was busy helping out. Oof. Where's the door? Whoa! Ugh. I can't play with you now, Gilbert. Whoa. Look what I brought, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. You're getting to be a big boy. Caillou was very proud to help out. It was a good feeling. You better run along now. Caillou thought if he was big enough to help Mommy do the laundry, he was big enough to get dressed by himself. There was only one problem. He brought all his clothes downstairs, so he had nothing to wear. Uh, no. Caillou! Shh! You'll wake Rosie. Why are you in your underpants? I don't have clothes. Hmm. That can't be right. You have tons of clothes. Goodness, you're right. Hmm. I know. We can play a game. You can dress up. I can't wear grown-up clothes, Daddy. Why can't you? I'm too little. We'll see about that. Aha! Here we are. They fit great. <laughs> if you'd be so kind as to try this on, sir. <laughs> that tickles. Can I have a hat, too? Let me see, let me see. Hang on, it needs something else. Hmm. Every inch a gentleman. My mustache, Daddy. Who says you're too small for grown-up clothes? Yay! <laughs> Caillou, look at you all dressed up. You're so handsome. I want a picture of my two men. story, kids. Yay! This story is called Caillou is Scared of Dogs. I'm going to build the biggest castle ever. Done! Caillou was scared. The dog sounded angry. Mommy! 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 Caillou, what's the matter? The next day, Caillou was looking forward to going to his grandma's while Mommy did some shopping. But Caillou and his Mommy didn't know that Grandma was looking after her neighbor's puppy for the day. I have a special friend staying with me. Would you like to meet him? Yes, please. <laughs> Caillou? Don't worry, Caillou. That's my special friend. I really think he'd like to meet you. No! But Caillou, he's only a little puppy. Why don't you just come and see? I promise he won't hurt you. Well, okay. See, Caillou? He's only a little puppy, and he's very friendly. Yes, Grandma? Well, if you're scared, why don't we shut the door so he can't get out, okay? Okay. Caillou was still a bit nervous, even though he knew the puppy was safely in the kitchen. Ah! Oh, honey, it's okay. Hey, I have an idea. Let's read a book about dogs. 
Caillou was enjoying reading about dogs with Grandma, and he was beginning to be curious about that little puppy in the kitchen. He's barking, Grandma. We'd better go see what he wants, don't you think? Maybe he's hungry. Who's a good boy, then? Are you hungry? Here's a treat. Mm, you like that, don't you? Caillou was still a bit nervous. But when he heard his grandma, he decided he really wanted to see the little puppy again. <laughs> What's so funny, Caillou? <laughs> he looks like one of Mommy's slippers. <laughs> see, Caillou? He wants to be your friend. He's wagging his tail. It means he's happy to see you. If you hold out your hand, he'll say hello. <laughs> that tickles! I think you've made a new friend, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, doggy. What do you know? The puppy wasn't scary at all, but friendly and fuzzy and fun. Get it, boy! <laughs> Good boy. Catch! <laughs> <laughs> Shh, look. Look, Mommy, I like doggies now. It's story time, kids. Now, I wonder what Caillou did today. Today's story is called, Caillou is a Clown. Guess what, Rosie? We're going to a parade. Parade, parade. <coughs> We're going to see horses, drummers, and clowns. I love clowns. No clowns, no. <coughs> hey, Rosie. You, I don't know about this. What's the matter, Mommy? I don't know if it's such a good idea to go to the parade. Why not, Mommy? I want to go to the parade. There'll be clowns, Caillou, and you know Rosie's really afraid of clowns. No, she isn't. Not anymore. I want to go. Caillou was miserable and angry. It wasn't fair. Why can't we go just because Rosie's a silly baby? Remember, Caillou, you used to be afraid of clowns, too, when you were little, like Rosie. Well, what are we going to do now? Then Caillou had an idea. See, Rosie? It's not scary. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Rosie, uh, show me a doll. I know, Mommy. I'll cover her eyes when the clowns come by. Come on, Caillou, let's go up to your room. Why? I have an idea. Maybe we can go to the parade. But I need your help. Caillou just couldn't imagine what Mummy's idea could be. Let's see. These'll do. Let's show Rosie the clowns aren't scary, because they're only people wearing clown clothes. Okay. Look, Rosie. Peek! Peek! Look! Here! See, Rosie? Clowns are funny! <laughs> no, Rosie, like this! See? <laughs> Silly cat. Look, Rosie, you're a clown. <laughs> Beep. So now Rosie wasn't scared of clowns anymore. Rosie, look. Okay, kids, I guess we can go to the parade now. Yay! <laughs> Hold still, Rosie. <laughs> Are my two clowns ready to go? Yes! Let's 
go! Story time, kids. Oh, you're going to like this one. It's all about the time Caillou got covered with paint. It's called Caillou's Colors. Caillou was spending the day at his grandma's loft. He usually found lots of fun things to do there. But today was different. Caillou was in a bad mood, and he didn't feel like doing anything. Caillou felt bored. He didn't know what to do. It seemed as if nothing would cheer Caillou up. You must have got out of the wrong side of the bed today, Caillou. What does that mean? It means that some days you wake up feeling grumpy and don't know why. I'm not grumpy. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. We're going to have an apple pie for snack time. I have to go and check on it. I'm not hungry. I don't want apple pie. We'll see about that. Caillou was very grumpy. What was he to do? Uh. Caillou's grandma always let him use her paints. <laughs> and Caillou always enjoyed painting. Caillou liked his blue picture. And then he decided to use some of grandma's other colors. <laughs> Caillou, the pie's ready. Caillou, where are you? Here I am. Goodness, Caillou, just look at your hands. <laughs> I'm finger painting. And look at your wonderful painting. Oh, but you'll have to wash up if you want some pie. You do want some pie, don't you? Yes. Was it good, dear? Caillou. Hi, sweetie. Did you have a nice day with Grandma? Mommy, I did finger painting! Caillou was very grumpy at first, but then he did this lovely painting. And now he isn't grumpy anymore. I don't want to go home. But you can always come back another day. That's right. Anytime you get out of the wrong side of the bed and you're feeling grumpy, you come and see Grandma. I want to be grumpy again! All ready for your bedtime story? Let's see what Caillou's up to tonight. It looks like he's going camping. I found you, Grandpa! <laughs> you have to catch me first! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hi, guys. That looks like fun. Why don't you come and join us in the garden? Okay, Daddy. Give me a Percy. <laughs> Give me a Percy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the time I took your daddy camping when he was a little boy. Camping with my daddy? Oh, you bet. We saw a big raccoon. <laughs> we went swimming in a waterfall. I want to go camping with you. A camping trip takes planning, Caillou. Well, it does sound like fun. And it needn't take a lot of planning. Do you still have that tent? Because I think I know just the spot. Hey! Hey, Caillou, where'd you go? Here I am, Grandpa. This time, you go inside while I hold the front up. Now, you see that pole in the back? A pole? I'd better show you. 
<laughs> Look, Grandpa. Bugs. Oh, someone else has seen them, too. Come and see. Grandpa, I saw a nest and had baby birds. Well, we'd better get that tent set up, or we'll be sleeping in the trees tonight, too. And not too close now. They look perfect. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, <laughs> you look like a chipmunk. <laughs> Camping with Grandpa was going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> look at all the stars, Grandpa. Oh, it's getting late. I'll get the sleeping bags ready. Grandpa, what are those lights in the bushes? Those aren't lights, Caillou. They're fireflies. Well, let's see if we can catch one. I did it, Grandpa. I caught one. <gasps> you sure did. <laughs> Grandpa? All these noises were making Caillou nervous. But Grandpa found a solution. Are you two campers awake yet? Breakfast is ready. Good morning. What happened? Did it get too cold last night? Oh, it got too noisy, so we decided to go camping inside the house. I was camping with Grandpa. Next time we go camping, we'll tell all the animals and birds to be quiet. <laughs> Just look at Caillou. He's all dressed up. Let's see what's going on. This story is called Caillou's New Babysitter. Caillou's mommy and daddy were going out for a special dinner. I want to go with you. Caillou, it's our anniversary. That's a special day for mommy and daddy. But we have something special for you and Rosie too. A brand new babysitter. Isn't that nice? I don't want a new babysitter. That must be Julie now. I'll go and let her in. I don't like Julie. Julie was a new babysitter. Caillou wanted his regular babysitter. So he made up his mind he wasn't going to like Julie at all. Hi, Caillou. I'm Julie. Just press this button. Mommy look pretty in her dress? And doesn't your daddy look smart in his tuxedo? Let's wave goodbye. Later that evening, it was supper time. I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper, too. Caillou, you have to eat your supper. You can't make me. I have an idea. Your mommy and daddy are going out for a special anniversary supper. So why don't we do the same? Mmm! Even though Caillou had decided he wouldn't like Julie, he was curious mm. about this idea. Come on, then. What are we waiting for? Now you look just as handsome as your daddy. Do I really? You bet. Caillou discovered he was starting to like Julie. Now let's go and make Rosie look as nice as your mommy. Gilbert! Hold it! <laughs> Caillou liked Julie's dressing up game, but he still didn't care very much for salad. Come on, Caillou, you have to eat. I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper, too. <laughs> hmm. Well, if you don't want supper, why don't we have breakfast instead? Hmm? <laughs> How can we have breakfast? It's supper time. It's easy. From now on, everything's going to be the opposite way around. You'll see. Mmm. 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 Oh. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Hi, Julie. Did you all have as much fun as we did? We had breakfast. Really? But what about your supper? I thought they could have their supper tomorrow, if that's all right. I'm sure that'll be fine, Julie. And now, if you're ready, I'll take you home. No, Daddy, no. Caillou had been having so much fun with his new babysitter, he didn't want her to leave. 
Don't worry, Caillou. I promise I'll come back and see you very soon. Are you ready for story time? Yes, we are. Now, let's see what Caillou did today. Today's story is called Caillou and Daddy. Bye-bye, Mommy. Bye, sweetie. Now, don't get into any trouble, you two. Bye-bye. Caillou's mommy and sister Rosie were going out for the day. And that meant Caillou would be spending the whole day with his daddy. That's what I like, a good, strong cup of coffee. what I like, too. Do you remember our secret plan? Caillou was helping Daddy make a special surprise for his mommy. Do you think Mommy's going to like her surprise bookshelf? Daddy. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Caillou loved spending time with his daddy like this. Just the two of them together. Now this should dry very quickly so we can... Oh no! Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Well, in the first place, you're covered with paint. <laughs> so are you. Hmm, yes, you're right. And in the second place, I forgot to buy the blue paint that goes on top of this undercoat. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take care of business. That's what we're going to do. Yay! There you go. Are you ready? Yes. Then let's go and take care of business. Hmm. Which color do you think Mommy would like? This one. Let's take it. Are we taking care of business, Daddy? You bet we are. Caillou and his Daddy decided to have a hot dog for lunch. What have you two been up to? We've been taking care of business, Mommy. Look! Oh, a bookshelf. It's just what I wanted. But wait a minute. It looks like I have a new book, too. I made it, Mommy. Did not. Did two. Did not. Did two. Are you two fighting again? Now, why don't you stop that and listen to a Caillou story? Well, look at this. It looks like Caillou and Clementine are squabbling, too. Today's story is called Caillou's Quarrel. Caillou's friend Clementine was coming to play, so he was getting his toys ready. Caillou! Caillou, come downstairs. Clementine's here. Hi, come in, Clementine, come in. Say hello, Caillou. Hello. Now you be a good little girl, Clementine. Play nicely. Yes, Mommy. And don't you cause any trouble. No, Mommy. I'm sure she won't be any trouble at all. Come on in, Clementine. Yay! Yay! Wow, you brought lots of toys. Caillou wanted to play dinosaurs with Clementine. And he was going to explain exactly how he wanted to build a house for them with his building blocks. Let's play families. I'll be the mommy and you can be the daddy. <laughs> that wasn't Caillou's idea of fun at all. I want to play dinosaurs. A teddy bear and a bunny. They can be our children. That's my teddy and my bunny. 
Caillou didn't like anybody touching his teddy and his bunny without his permission. Let's have a tea party for them. Come and sit down. Give them back. They're mine. Don't be silly, Caillou. Sit down and play nicely. I don't want to play nicely. What's the matter? I don't want to play families. I want to play dinosaurs! <sighs> okay, well, the dinosaurs can be our children, too. Caillou didn't like that idea at all. I don't want to play with you anymore. I don't like you anymore. <sighs> Mommy! Whatever's the matter, Caillou? And where's Clementine? I don't like Clementine. She took my teddy and my bunny. Let's see if we can sort this out, okay? Now, can we all say we're sorry and be friends again? Sorry, Caillou. Your turn, Caillou. Sorry, Clementine. Come on in, everyone. Clementine's big brother, Billy, was a baseball champion, and Caillou was always very happy to see him. Hi, Billy. Hi, Caillou. Want to play ball? Mm. You're going to be a great pitcher, Caillou. Come and have some juice, you guys. Let's have a race. Hey! <laughs> Caillou, you and Clementine are really good at baseball. We'll have to play again soon. Oh, yes! I want to play with you and Clementine again tomorrow! And the day after, and the day after that! What have you got, Grandma? Read it, Grandma! Today's story is called, Caillou Watches Rosie. Caillou and Rosie were having lots of fun playing with Rosie's new toy. <laughs> lots of noisy fun. Moo! Pow! Quack, 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 quack! quack. quack. <laughs> 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 Caillou! <laughs> Rosie! <laughs> Caillou! <laughs> Caillou, I have a bad headache and I need to lie down for a while. Can you be a big brother and watch Rosie so she doesn't get into any mischief? Yes, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. <laughs> How about if you two draw animals instead? That way it'll be quieter for me to rest. Okay. Caillou knew that he could do a good job watching Rosie. We're going to draw now, Rosie. Me too! and take care of Rosie, not fight with her. Caillou thought it was very unfair that Mommy was mad at him. He had done his best to be quiet. It was all Rosie's fault. Mommy, I was trying... Rosie, you need a rest. Rosie didn't... I'll be right back, Caillou. I... I... I don't want to be Rosie's big brother anymore. Oh, Caillou... Now, tell me what happened. I wanted Rosie to stop, but she didn't listen. It isn't easy being a big brother, is it? Now I better clean off that wall. I want to help you. That would be terrific. When I was a little girl, I once had to watch my little cousin, Bella, when my parents had a party. And you know what she did? <laughs> she squeezed out a whole tube of toothpaste. She got it all over herself. <laughs> That's very bad. And I got into trouble just like you did. Nice work, Caillou. Caillou! Pow! Ooh. 
Caillou, you are getting to be such a big boy, and you are such a wonderful big brother to Rosie. I'm so glad you can stay the night. And look, that's what Caillou does in this story. It's called Caillou Sleeps Over. It all started when Caillou's friend Leo invited him to sleep over at his house. Caillou and his mommy were packing his bags. Caillou, now, have we forgotten anything? My pajamas! That's right! If you're going to sleep over at Leo's house, you need pajamas. Now, is that everything? Yes. This was the first time Caillou had ever slept over at a friend's house, and he was very excited. Get in, Caillou. I'm sure we forgot to pack something, but what could it be? Let's think. Pajamas? Pajamas. Toothbrush? Toothbrush. Teddy bear? Teddy bear! We forgot Teddy! Good, now you have everything. Are you ready? Leo's daddy had built a treehouse in his garden. And Caillou loved playing in it. <laughs> Leo, Caillou, it's supper time. Come on, you two. Time to wash your hands. <laughs> Caillou sure was having fun at Leo's house. But when supper came, Caillou started to feel lonely. He was thinking about his mommy and daddy and his home. Aren't you hungry, Caillou? Yes. Let's see who finishes first and wins the race to dessert. Pretty soon it was bedtime for Caillou and Leo. <laughs> Caillou discovered that even brushing his teeth was fun at Leo's house. But when it was time to go to sleep, Caillou missed his mommy and daddy and his home a lot. He was beginning to feel very sad. Are you two ready to go to sleep? Get into bed, Caillou. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. What's the matter, Caillou? I want to go home. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go and call your mommy on the phone? I want to come home, mommy. Hmm. Does Teddy want to come home, too? Teddy? Poor Teddy. He must be feeling very lonely stuck inside your bag. And he was really looking forward to sleeping over at Leo's house. When Caillou thought about Teddy, he didn't want to go home anymore. He fetched Teddy and gave him a big kiss. Does Teddy feel better now? Yes, because I'm hugging him tight. Good. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the bed bugs bite. bite. <laughs> <laughs> Read us a story about Caillou. All right. Let's see what he's up to today. Today's story is called... Rosie Bothers Caillou. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Boo! Caillou was having fun playing with his blocks. Now he was going to build the tallest tower in the whole world. This was the tallest tower Caillou had ever made. Boo! <laughs> Don't do that, Rosie! <laughs> beep, 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 beep! Uh, you broke my robe! Go play with your own toys! Rosie! Rosie, give me those! Mommy! Rosie won't stop bothering me! Maybe she just wants to play with you. But I don't want to play with her. Caillou, I'm busy and I can't be solving your problems all the time. What, Mommy? 
You and Rosie have to learn how to work out your own problems. No, we can't! Caillou! <laughs> Caillou was happy reading his book all by himself without Rosie bothering him. Go away, Rosie! Go out of my room! Uh, no! No! Uh, Stay out! Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> go away! Books are for reading, uh, not for hitting. Go away! Caillou, did you make Rosie cry? No. was glad that Rosie wasn't going to bother him anymore. Caillou had been playing in his room all by himself for a long time. But now he was starting to feel bored. Hey! He wanted to play a game, but he didn't want to play all by himself. So he changed his mind about Rosie. Rosie? Caillou remembered that playing with Rosie was fun. What do I see here? Now Caillou was so busy playing with Rosie, he didn't want his mommy to bother him. It looks like Caillou's having a picnic with his friends. And that's what today's story is about, too. It's called Caillou's Picnic. It was a beautiful day. Caillou and his family were going on a picnic. We're almost there, you guys. Yay! Caillou had invited his friend Leo to come, too. Here you go. That's everything we need. No, it isn't, Daddy. What's the matter? Have I forgotten something? Yes! What did I forget? You, you forgot, forgot the picnic! The picnic. <laughs> I know. I was just joking. <laughs> Why don't you give me a hand? It's heavy! It won't be so heavy after the picnic. Caillou and Leo led the way along a forest path. It's like being in your storybook about brave knights and dragons, isn't it, Caillou? Yes! Ah. <laughs> Caillou always loved going on picnics with his family. It was even more fun with Leo because they could go and play after they finished eating. Don't go too far. Okay, Daddy. Wow, look! Look at me. I'm a brave knight. I have a sword. Look! Mm. I have a sword, too. This is the bad dragon. Yay! We're fighting the bad dragon! Caillou and Leo love playing brave knights and dragons. Caillou! Leo! Caillou! Leo! Come back here! But this game didn't last very long. Oh! What's the matter? Let's stop here. Rosie's scared of the thunder. It sounds a bit like a dragon roaring, doesn't it? Hmm. Look, Rosie, I'm a brave knight. This is my sword. <laughs> I'm a brave knight, too. We were fighting a dragon. We'll protect you. Wow! 
Is everything okay, brave knights? Are there any more dragons? Don't worry, we'll protect you! <laughs> Look at Caillou's funny costume. I wonder why he's dressed like that. Oh, yes, I remember. Today's story is called The Caillou Show. Hello, dinosaurs. Do you remember what we're doing today? The show, the show! That's right. Yay! Caillou, Leo, yeah. and Clementine yeah. were very excited. Yeah. They were going to put on a show. Now we want everything to be ready for when your parents come. So let's get started. First of all, we need some costumes. The costume box, yay! <laughs> the costume box was full of make-believe costumes. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a clown. I'm gonna be a scary witch. There were all sorts of wonderful costumes in the trunk. Caillou and his friends wanted to try them all on. Caillou, I want you to wear this. You're going to be the sun. Clementine, you'll be a flower. And Leo, you're going to be a rain cloud. Now let's make up our story. I'm a beautiful flower. You certainly are, Clementine. And who are you? I'm the sun. And you make the flower feel hot and thirsty. <laughs> Come on, you guys, stop fooling around. We need to practice properly. Leo, the sun's made the flower thirsty, so now we need the cloud to give her a drink of water. Okay? Yes. This is going to be a great show. Let's practice some more. At last, it was time for the show to begin. Clementine expected the sun to come out, but Caillou didn't appear. I hope the sun comes out soon. <laughs> I hope the sun comes out soon. Hello, beautiful flower. Let me warm you up. The hot sun is making me thirsty. I need a drink. Then Leo the rain cloud appeared <laughs> to give the flower a little drink. Thank you, Mr. Cloud. Caillou and his friends felt very proud of themselves when they heard all the parents applauding. I think we have time for a story before your bus comes. Now, why don't we see what Caillou's up to today? Well, it's a story called Caillou's School Bus. Caillou didn't go to school yet, but every day he waited to see the school bus coming down his street. Caillou really wanted to ride on the school bus with the big children. Daddy, when can I go on the school bus? Well, you won't go to school until after your next birthday. Let's see. This is today, and this is your birthday. But I want to go on the school bus now. Well, I think we could at least go and see the school bus, even if you can't ride on it. The very next morning, Caillou and his daddy got up extra early so they could see the school bus from up close. Here it comes, Daddy. Here it comes. Oh, boy. Oh. Hi, Caillou. Are you coming on the bus with us? Caillou doesn't go to school yet, Sarah. Well, good morning, young man. Are you coming to school, too? 
Wait a minute. I remember you. I used to take you to school when you were a little boy. Hello, Mr. Washington. How nice to see you again. This is my son, Caillou. He wanted to see your bus. Well, Caillou, I'm very pleased to meet you. And I'm looking forward to driving you to school when the time comes. I want to go on the bus, Daddy. Well, I can't take you today, Caillou. Mr. Washington could see that Caillou was very disappointed. But maybe I could tomorrow, as long as it's all right with your mommy and your daddy. And I'll have to ask my boss if it's okay, too. So I can't promise I'll take you. Isn't that nice of Mr. Washington, Caillou? Let's go and ask Mommy. Wow! What's this, Caillou? That's the school bus, Daddy. And who's this driving the school bus? Me! <laughs> Caillou, remember, we have to wait till tomorrow to find out if you're allowed to ride on the bus. Hi, Caillou. It looks like you're going to school today. Caillou was very nervous. He didn't know if he'd be allowed to ride on the bus. Good morning. Well, we don't want to be late for school, Caillou. Come along. What are you waiting for? Go on. Oh, boy. Caillou loved riding in the big yellow school bus. We're almost home, Caillou. There's your daddy waiting for you. Did you see me, Daddy? I was in the bus! I saw you! Now, let's say thank you to Mr. Washington. Thank, thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Washington. Washington. Goodbye, Caillou. Goodbye. See you after your next birthday. Snuggle up, children. It's story time. Wow! Look at Caillou. He looks scared. Can you guess why? This story's called Caillou's Big Slide. Caillou was having a wonderful time at the playground. Watch me, watch me! <laughs> choo, choo, choo! I'm a train, Daddy. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. I'm playing choo-choo. Can I play too? Clementine and Caillou were having fun playing choo-choo train when Clementine had an idea. Want to play slide? Yes. No, not that one. That one. Clementine was pointing at the slide the big kids play on. But when Caillou got to the slide, Yay! it seemed very big and very, very high. It's too high. Caillou was frightened. I want to play here first. <laughs> so Caillou convinced Clementine to play in the tubes instead. <laughs> Catch me, Caillou! Here I come! Got you! Hmm. It's getting late, Caillou. We'll have to leave soon. Caillou was very scared. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy! Caillou's crying. He's scared. I'm not scared. It's easy. What's the matter, Caillou? <laughs> hmm. Well, it is a big, scary slide. It does look like fun, though. I know what we could do. Why don't you slide down with me? Uh-oh. Uh One, two, three. Caillou was thrilled, but Clementine wasn't impressed. I went by myself. Hmm. Yay! I went all by myself. It's easy. 
Well, it's time to go home, Caillou. I'll be right back. Whee! One more time, Daddy? <laughs> but as it turned out, it wasn't just one more time after all. <laughs> Story time, kids! Let's see now. Today's story is called Caillou's New Shoes. Tying your laces, Caillou? No. My shoes hurt. Honey, your feet have grown. They're too big for these shoes. You need a new pair. Here, these will do for now. Put them on and we'll go to the shoe store right away. Now, Caillou loved to splash in rain puddles with his boots. But today it was sunny. And he wanted to run. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi, Caillou. Where are you going? To buy a new pair of shoes. We'll have to have a race when you get them. Bye. Bye, Sarah. I want shoes to run fast like Sarah. Come on, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou liked looking at all the different kinds of shoes and boots. There were all kinds of sandals. And lady shoes. Mm. And even work boots. Uh-oh. Uh Oops. Wow. These look fast. Hmm. Which color do you like best, Caillou? Um... Caillou just couldn't make up his mind which color he liked best. Well now, before we decide on the color, maybe we'd better measure your feet. Now let's see, you are a size... a size seven. Mommy, Mommy, I'm a size seven! My, your feet have been growing, Caillou. Now, do you want the blue ones or the yellow ones? I want the... How about the green ones? Green? Yay! We'll just put your boots in the shoe box so you can take them back home. Your new shoes are very nice, Caillou. And so are my new shoes. But you have to measure your feet first. <laughs> My feet stopped growing a long time ago. Race me, Sarah. You're going too fast for me. Race me, race me. Know what time it is? It's time for a Caillou story. Well, now, let's see what Caillou did today. I think he met some animals. Today's story is called Caillou goes to the zoo. Hi, welcome to the zoo. My name's Zoe. Are we going to see lots of animals? Oh, yes, and we're very excited because lots of our animal families have new babies. Would you like to see some baby wolves? Baby wolves? Really? Wow. See the baby wolves? Those are their noses. Why don't they come out? I want to see them. They were just born the other day, so they want to stay with their mommy. Oh, I wanted to see them. You know, Caillou, they'll stay with their families all their lives. Do all the baby animals stay with their mommies and daddies? Oh, no. Most animals leave their families when they're big enough. Would you like to see another animal family? Yes, please. Caillou liked the idea of animals having families. Where are they? Where are they? 
They must be in their house, Caillou. I'm afraid we might not see them today. Although, I think we might be lucky after all. Wow! He's so big! The rhino's as big as a dinosaur! Rhino Dino! Rhino Dino! You know what, Caillou? That rhino's not a he. She is a she. And she has a baby. Really? A baby rhino? Of course, Caillou. Even really big animals have babies. Look, look, it's the baby rhino. He's not very cuddly, but I think he's cute as a button. Yay, a sea otter. It's a sea otter. They're my favorite. That little guy came to us when he was just a baby, Caillou. Does he have a family too? I'm afraid not. You see, his mommy died. His mommy died? Will he be all right? He'll be fine. But you know, because he didn't have his mommy to show him what to do, we've had to teach him everything. <laughs> Even how to swim and how to feed himself. It was the first time Caillou had seen a real sea otter. <laughs> I wish we could take him home with us. Oh, you can't do that. He's almost ready to go back to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, Caillou? That chimpanzee looks like Grandpa. <laughs> You're right. He does look like Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That little guy looks a bit like you, Caillou. He's coming to say hello. Everyone's gone home. It's birthday story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do on his birthday? Today's story is called Caillou's Birthday Present. It was Caillou's birthday and his mommy was making his birthday cake. I don't suppose you want to help me clean the bowl, do you? Yes, please, mommy. <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. You really should let Rosie have a little of that frosting. Daddy! I thought you said Caillou should let Rosie have some frosting. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Daddy! Caillou had told everyone he wanted a special dinosaur as a birthday present. But Grandma's gift wasn't a dinosaur. It was a sweater. Do you like it, Caillou? Of course he does. Oh, my. They're here already. Yay! Leo, Clementine! Come on in, you two. Now, just hold still a little longer, Caillou. I've almost finished. <laughs> it feels funny, Daddy. Are you going to blow out the candles, Caillou? Make a wish, Caillou. You're supposed to make a wish. He knew just what to wish for. He wanted a special dinosaur. Caillou was so full, he just couldn't eat any more birthday cake. Happy birthday, Caillou. Just a little while later, everyone found room for some ice cream sundae. Rosie, look what you did. 
Here's a clean sweater, dear. Wow! It's another special dinosaur. Caillou certainly had his special dinosaur now. In fact, he had two special dinosaurs. Oh, wow! This is my best birthday.